Who left the most inventions in the world, 1,100 patents, and the gift of light to mankind? Thomas Edison. He had numerous inventions dating back to childhood, and thanks to this, he is called the King of Inventions. In particular, Edison's signature invention, the light bulb, changed daily life for mankind. However, there are those who would call him a successful businessman more than an inventor. It is also said that even the light bulb wasn't his invention, but was intercepted by him from someone else's work. Was Edison more of a con artist than a great inventor? Edison said that he experimented a lot to invent the light bulb. After many experiments to find a suitable material for the filament, the core of the bulb, a carbonized bamboo filament was used, and the inside of the bulb was vacuum sealed to extend the life of the filament. These experiments were a great success, and light bulbs spread to many homes. So, we were taught that Edison invented the light bulb, and it spread around the world. But the reality is a little different. The first bulb was invented by Humphrey Davy of England in 1816. Later, in 1835, James Bowman Lindsay invented his first incandescent bulb by improving upon Davy's bulb. However, Lindsay's incandescent bulbs were not commercialized due to their short lifespan. Then, Joseph Swan invented an improved incandescent lamp and applied for a patent in 1875. At that time, interest in light bulbs among inventors was explosive. In addition to those mentioned earlier, numerous inventors experimented with the bulbs, and Edison was one of them. Edison kept experimenting to popularize the light bulbs and found out about the existence of the incandescent lamp Swan invented. Building on Swan's idea, Edison invented the vacuum carbon filament incandescent lamp. Edison later accused Swan of plagiarizing his idea and applying for a patent, but Edison lost, after which he bought Swan's patent to set up the Edison joint venture. Another invention of Edison, the phonograph, was also not an Edison original. In 1857, Martinville, a Frenchman, invented the phonautograph, which was the first machine to record sound, but it failed to play the recorded sound back. Later, in 1877, Charles Cross designed a gramophone called the Paleophone, which was an improved phonautograph that could play back the recording. But without money, Charles Cross couldn't commercialize his Paleophone, so he turned to the French Academy of Sciences to find a sponsor for his idea. Eight months later, the commercialized phonograph that was revealed to the world first was Edison's phonograph. His phonograph worked almost the same way as Charles Cross's, but it was made to record detailed vibrations of sound more accurately by combining the telephone diaphragm. On reflection, it's hard to see Edison as an inventor who brainstormed his own inventions from the start and continually invented through his own research. Instead of focusing solely on research in the lab, perhaps he was an entrepreneur who observed external technologies and ideas and combined them with his inventions to make them practical. Indeed, Edison's motto was to create inventions for the world. Therefore, he focused more on improving the inventions of others and commercializing them. In addition to the light bulb and phonograph, he successfully presented several other products that enrich our lives, including the projector, telephone, electric refrigerator, and more. Edison, who kept succeeding brilliantly, also suffered a big failure. The Edison Illuminating Company, founded on the success of the commercialization of the light bulb, merged with another electric company by J.P. Morgan to become General Electric, and Edison was kicked out of the company. Then, Edison lost most of his wealth due to investment failure at a magnet mine to which he had devoted himself for over 10 years. But even with this failure, Edison's willingness to invent did not falter. Although his later inventions did not succeed as well, he continued to invent until he died at the age of 80.